I got the boat. This is just a little black rattle can spray paint, some gray spray, spray paints. So that way when I sand, you can kind of already see the, or I did yesterday, the white spots. Those are the highs and the gray spots are the lows. So when I sand, you'll be able to see where there's paint left. That's where I need to put more filler. But one thing I wanted to do a quick video on. So between my spray rail, I've got a little gap right here. And I don't want the hole to transition at such a sharp angle. So what I'm gonna do is I picked up some more pour foam over there and I made this little, I don't know if you wanna call it a foam jig, but basically that's the angle that I want coming off the transom and what I, or coming off the uh, boat to the spray rails. So I'm gonna pour foam inside all these little notches that I cut out. That's screwed to the hull. It's a plastic board, so it shouldn't stick to the foam. And essentially, it's gonna cover up these two boards. I'm still gonna have this much rail, but then I'll be able to sand that transition and it'll fill all the gaps nice for me. So I'm gonna pour my foam down into these little holes. And then when the time comes, obviously I have to um, put neat epoxy down first and let it cure. And then I can put the foam down, but that's gonna give me just enough foam so where I can sand a nice flare into it without me spending a ton of money to get, figure this out because I mean I just was racking my brain trying to get the right foam or whether I should do strips of wood but then the wood wouldn't sand as easy so I'm doing pour foam in there it's going to fill the nice transition and then we're going to get to uh sanding this bad boy probably this weekend uh, I've got the full coat down I just picked up also another Another kit of a uh, total boat, total fare. So I got my pour foam there and the total fare there. We're gonna mix that and fill all these these low spots. I mean, you can already see that that's a this is a low spot right here. So when we sand, we'll pull more putty. Probably be two or three times of like aggressive, heavy um, fairing compound, and then we're gonna hit the whole boat with a high build primer. Um, but I really I was waiting to get this. These, these, this transition done so I can finish, you know, glassing that in and then boom, I'm ready to go when it comes to uh, fairing the entire bottom of the hole. So I used some uh, two-part pour foam to fill in the gap all the way around the rub rail, spray rail. I wanted to, again, get a little bit more flare. On this side, I was using this board, screwing it against it, trying to get more of a, you know, a flat look like that. And sometimes it was pulling up, as you can see right here, it was pulling up. And so I said, screw it. I just poured the foam on the other side, but down here, what I've done is I've taken my grinder and just pulled the grinder along and kind of made a nice little concave so that I can use my, basically I'm going to wrap some sandpaper on a pipe and just kind of sand like this to get everything smooth. Then I can lay glass out to the edge of the spray rails and I'm going to sand that edge on that 1708. And I think on the sides, I might just do a high build primer because it doesn't need as much work as the bottom did, but the bottoms, that's the first full coat of total boat, total fare. Uh, that stuff's expensive and it used about three quarters of this jar, um, two part jar. So what I'm gonna do is high build primer the sides, actually high build primer the whole boat, block it, find out where I need to fare more and then go back and fill those spots with the total boat. But this week, probably gonna get these spray rails fixed up right get those glassed in and then uh, sand all weekend. And it'd be awesome to see this thing all one color. So I'm excited for that. But moving forward, probably gonna paint here in a couple weeks. I 
I just finished round two of sanding, as you saw in the pictures before this, but uh, I got another two quarts of Total Fair. And as you can see, I just ordered another gallon because, uh, yeah, the sides require a whole lot less than the top. I honestly think I'm only gonna have to do the sides twice, these guys twice, and that will be round three, which has just been touched up. You can see there's a couple like very minor low spots still where the brown is, but over here, we got the Alex Seal 3002 Super High Gold Primer, which if I hot coat it, I can go up to five millimeters. I think it might even go to like eight millimeters of, of depth, which is a lot. Uh, I'm hoping it's like two to three millimeters at the most because I'm gonna have to sand do another layer, sand again, and then I'm gonna have to put finish primer before the top coat paint. But uh, yeah, so I was able to touch up the entire hull with that quart, just in little spots, and then start pulling along the sides. Um, I ran out right here. I've been mixing on this board, using the spatula or paint scraper, whatever you wanna call it. But uh, got the transom, round two, laid on the transom as well. And, uh, you know, I'm going to lay some guide coat and sand and we'll move on to getting this thing finished fared. I grinded all the edges, so this should be a smoother transition. We'll have to use as much compound, but I've got a work trip this week. So probably get pick up to this again next weekend and let all this cure wait for the more another gallon of this total fare to come in uh, before I go ahead and sand the hole for the third time. Uh, it's it's moving along. It looks, I mean, it just, it's just starting to look finished, which is nice in the bottom. I'm going to bring my paint all the way out to the edge, and then it'll be a white rub rail and white top. But uh, overall, it's going along pretty good. I like this Total Fair stuff a lot better. See, it's, I mean, that's been put on there for like three or four hours, and I can barely indent it. Um, I like this Total Fair stuff a lot better, albeit it's more expensive than using micro balloons with epoxy. The epoxy just, it was way, way, way harder uh, to sand this Total Fair stuff. While it will cure to the same, it gives me a couple more days of working time and I'm able to sand it and really see the difference. You know, I'm, I'm gonna paint, obviously, uh, guide coat the whole boat again with black or brown. So when I sand, I know where my low spots are. But uh, overall, I mean, and talk about sanding, you can see, oh, well, that's actually on the outside. But yeah, we've been putting in some work. It's gonna take quite a bit of cleanup and dusting in here to get this thing ready to start with primer. All right, so I've laid down a coat of guide coat. This is like a black powder that you kind of blotch on, kind of like a, I don't know, it looks like a women's makeup pad, but Basically, you just kind of wipe on this super, super fine black dust. And hopefully, tonight is the last round of sanding. And any black I see is going to get a super, super thin layer of Total Fair. I hope I don't see much black at all. Because then I can just fill with the high build primer. And move on from like the heavy sanding. Move up from 80 grit up to 220 after we do the primer. So, uh, still a little bit of work to go. Hopefully quick sand of the boat. I don't need to take off a ton of material, but you can still see where there's plenty of little ridges and little areas that I just need to touch up from when I filled on Friday. So I'm going to sand tonight. Hopefully we're in primer sometime after Thanksgiving. So round four is done. Took off a little bit more than I thought I was going to, but very, very minute. I mean, that's just when I was pulling, I actually saw a freaking piece of dust or debris or whatever. And when I pulled, it, it dug in deeper than. So I've got a couple, a couple lines that are gonna take just very, very minimal compound. And then right here, you can see the transom. I actually got um, this side coming in pretty close. I wanna have a real nice sharp edge on the edge of the transom here. So I gotta build this up, sand it back down so that everything looks good. I mean, this right here is pretty nice. 
fill right there, but that's the shape that I'm gonna try to get along the edges of the transom and then the sides are gonna be rounded. So I've got a little bit more to do. I'm gonna pull some more compound right here in the black, but um, way, way less. And I don't even know what this is, but something got on there and tiny, tiny little pinholes that I'm gonna fill. And then I don't have to do a ton of sanding to get those all correct. And then we're gonna prime it. I'd love to see this whole thing one color instead of the hodgepodge it is. Gonna pull some more there. That was only one coat so far on the sides. And I knew between my wrap there and wrap there that there was gonna be a void in the center. So I gotta pull some compound on the sides, but the top is like 90, I'm gonna say 94% done. A little bit on the sides, but overall, we're almost there. took us about call it five and a half hours with wait times hour dry 30 minute set time on the two-part high build primer but uh we got three coats three full coats on and i'm pretty freaking impressed i mean these yeah there's there's definitely some tiny little you know i'm gonna have to fare and sand a little bit more but i mean Think back to when I was an idiot and screwed this up, had to cut it out and re-glass five rounds of fairing to get that. I mean, there's a ton of orange peel. It's a high build primer. I'm expecting it to be a little, I don't know. It's not perfectly smooth, obviously, but that's three coats through and through. It looks pretty darn good. So we're going to Put some more guide coat on after this cures for about 24 hours. Block sand with 220, find my low spots, do a little bit more fairing, hit one more coat of the high build, repeat, and then it's on the finished primer and I'm torn. I'm either gonna do ethereal blue or ethereal blue or sky blue. I want it to look like the CV. But man, just look at the shine on that. That's, shit. First time boat painter.